Hello, welcome to Academy where we train future civil and structural engineers. My name is Ispashe Ochet. Today, we want to learn how to slant your column. As you can see, this structure, based on architectural drawing, this column at this passage, this is a passage, as you can see it here, that when people come to this mall, what happened? They can move along this side. But the way these columns here, based on architectural drawing, is being designed, the columns are meant what? To be slanted. So therefore, how do you now model this? In case we have something of this nature, again, maybe you receive a drawing, and in that drawing, you are to slant your column at a particular place. So how do you slant your column that it will pass correctly when when you are doing your what model check that there will be no error at the same time that it will be designed properly. So therefore, you can see how neat, how accurate all the slant columns are. So you can see how do you now do this in proto structure. So that is why we want to show you how you can slant your column. So that is that, and not only that. In case you have not subscribed to Ekide channel, I want to say that you subscribe to Ekide channel, whereby you can have access to all our videos. You can see this, uh, this, uh, this uh, mall. You can see how the columns are built and being slanted. You can see, you can see from here to here, the, the distance from here to here is different from distance from here to here, and from here to here is different from, from here to this place. So you can see. So therefore, how do you now model your column in such a way that what it can be slanted? So therefore, that's why in Ekide we see to it that yes, you are well trained so that's why we want to say that you should subscribe to our equity channel whereby you can see all our videos where you can be trained very very well by the time you watch our videos i can assure you to some extent you can have confidence in yourself because we deal with what life project this is a life project which we are working on so that is that so we are still going to have our or what do you call it um line load on this slab at this uh, passage here so that it can be properly what designed so therefore let's see how this column can be what can be slanted so let's go there and see in case you have not liked this video i want to say that what you should like this uh, video it's very very important at the same time subscribe to this edited channel and not only that i want to say that you should invite your friends who also want to be good when it comes to what structural design because in Ekidel, you don't advise anybody to do what to hide their knowledge that's why we are not hiding our knowledge because we are trusting god to see that yes we are trusting god to see to it that this world become a better place for every one of us when it comes to what engineering thank you very much god bless you so therefore let's go there and see how we can model our column to slant in this format so let's go there and see it good all right <clears throat> welcome back so now let's see how we can now slant our column sorry i'm going to use uh, use this one to to train you on that because that one we are still working on it so i don't want to touch anything there so now looking at this Looking at this, we want to see how we can slant our column. Let's assume that this is a passage. All together, this is a passage. Your passage starts from here to this place. That's on the ground floor. From here to this place. This is where people now pass. So we want to assume that this is where people pass. Isn't it? So now, what do we do? What we need to do is to do what? Is to come and, is to come and click your column and property if it's the same thing. Carry it. Copy it property and then since the same property then come to this place now listing please listing very very well listing very well now if this is the head that i want to maintain by the base that's the bottom of the column to now slant then you put it here for example you are going to see how this one is going to bend and you see how we are going to do it so click on this line on this my axis i'm coming let me do something all right so now i escape so you can see it now i've positioned my column so let's now see it at 3d and see how it's standing let's see how is the column is what is standing sorry okay see it here see our column here or let me move it away let me move it away away from here let's take it away from here let's put it somewhere somewhere else so let me this this and then let me put it here um okay uh, yes let me put it here okay let me go back let's go back let's go back and see it um okay let's go back and see so you can see it now you can see our column standing what standing straight so you can see it here you can see that our column is standing straight as expected isn't it good so therefore let's go back and slant so now since this is the head the top so we are slanting this base down to this direction you can see my my cursor like this isn't it we are slanting like this isn't it so for us to stand like this now if you want to slant it this way don't come and put the column somewhere here you put the column where you want the head to remain 
then this is the base you know what you now try to slant so let's go there and see how we are going to do it so haven't done this one like this position our column like this so then what you do is do what right click property again and come to this place this is now pick bottom in section in section what point so click on this and then come and click on the, where you want the column to slant to where you want the base what i say the base where you want the base of the column to what to slant to so you click on it haven't click on it now come here and do what update click on update you can see now the head still remain this one still remain why the, the base what move the bottom of the column move do you see it now the head still remain the bottom of the of the column what move towards this direction so now what do i do i close this place do you see it now i close it then let's go and see our 3d and see you can see it's here you can see it we move the base the column the top column the top of the column remains that's where we first of all put our column because that's where we want our want what to be constant to remain why the base is what we want to work on is that okay is that okay so that is that let's now go and do the other other one sorry let's now go and do the other other one so don't forget where we position our column so let me also copy this the same property the same property and let me show you something so now if i put it here do you see it now if i put it here let me say i put it here this this place now and i want the column escape then i want the column i've put push my column here and i want the column base to do what to move towards this direction that means i'm maintaining this place isn't it as i've earlier explained i'm maintaining this this place but i want to move the base to this side so what do i do i click on it come to property again and also pick my point is action point come to this place and do what and click do you see it now and then come here and we'll do what upgrade so you can see them now so you can see them you can see this one and this one so when we want to maintain this side when it's this side you want to maintain we want to shift the base what do we do we come towards direction so when we want to now maintain the top of this place and bring the uh, sorry, the top of this column and bring the base to this side you can see what we did so therefore let's go and see our 3d and see how it is you can see them now so you can see it so can you see it now so can you see it you can see it very well now so you can see it isn't it so that is uh, how to do it so now let's go back let's go back and see let's delete this one and do it properly so come to this place again that's what i want i also come to this place and position my column or let me take it here let me take it here escape and delete this one and delete this one let's assume so therefore what do i need to do i also want to slant this one slant this one come on come on so i click on this big point and also come and click on what on this place click once i've clicked forget that you're not seeing anything once we have clicked it has been uh noted by the software so just come here and what update you can see it now so close so do you see it now so let's as we want to insert our our beam now so what do you do maybe this is the same property i'll just click here and then put my beam and also here put my beam and also here i put my beam so you can see it now so if i want i can put my slab let me escape i can now put my slab i can put my slab property good so i go there so let's go let's let me close this and then let's look at our 3d our 3d our 3d our 3d come here and see so you can see it now you can see how we have successfully inserted our what our slant here our slant column so you can see it very very wonderful so this is how to do it now another thing i want to show you is very very important what i say very very important because you might get confused now what happened that this column this column here still need to the ground floor is okay it's first floor now also has a slant column how do you now do that it will be accurate are you get what i'm saying so let me show you something let me show you something so if you now come to second first floor my first floor my first floor here you know it's still the same grid sorry the same grid yes the same grid or the same axis isn't it so if you now come here and pick your column let me see and pick your column pick your column and also want to do the same thing and put it here you are going to see what is going to happen now so i'll put it here and then come here or let me just do it direct since I, i'm still working on it i can just come here click on this and then come and position it here and click here isn't it let's see it's here let's see it's here i upgrade i hope it's on that axis I hope it's on that axis, not this one. I just hope I think so. So now I close. Don't forget, it's still the same line axis that we have on the ground floor that I'm still want to maintain on the upper on the first floor. So let's see what we are what we are having. 3D. 
now 3d so, so you can see it now you can see where it lands it lands and this is not what we want actually we want this base to be what to be somewhere here to be on top of this one but it's usually whereby we want based on the actual design or draw uh, drawing rather actual drawing is like this good and fine this is how to do it but in the situation whereby it's supposed to be on this one continuation from this column here so how do you not do it so let's go back to that place now let's go back let's go back so what would i do let me remove this now from this top of this uh, first uh, first column down let me see x uh, offset to this place let's is uh, just a uh, um let's just uh, let's see 1000 i assume 1000 so my f2 i put what minus what 1000 1000 enter so you can see it here are you seeing it so you can see it here so we now have this extension so what do i need to do is to now have come to this place property again and then click on this place because i want the top to be here isn't it the top to be here and then the base to now be on top of the down the one that is down you know the one that is down this is the top isn't it this is the top so now the top of this one extended out why the base of this one come and launch on the top of this one so what do i do i click on sorry sorry sorry, sorry. i click on my pick bottom insertion point again and then come here and click that's the top of this uh, down column so now i come here update so i now close this one so once i've closed this one then let me go and see our 3d let's go and see our 3d so you can see perfectly okay so perfectly okay so let me now go back and complete it let me go back and complete this so right click and do this and then come to this place click on it click on pick intersection point click on this one and update so this is now let's close it and let me pick my beam let me pick my beam i pick my beam here here and here yes good so what do i do i also carry my slab with my slab and put in case there's slab so I just put it so that is that. So I move. I move. I move. Let's check our 3D and see. So you can see it. You can see how accurate it is. You can see how we have slanted this particular beam. Sorry, columns. So you can see it. We are also going to do a video on how you can slant your beam. Hmm? How you can slant your beam. Very, very important. You need to know all of this because it depends on your architectural drawing so you should not give any architect any excuse that sorry oh, i cannot uh, sorry i cannot uh, slant this your this beam can we just make it straight there is something that's achievable so that's why nekedel want to train you very well in such a way that you can have confidence in yourself no matter the manipulation from the architect you can do what you can also achieve it in what in Porta structure so that's why i want to say subscribe to work the channel whereby you can have access to our videos whatever you want just type it on youtube and say by ekidel what i say type it on youtube and say by ekidel you will see the wonderful answers we are going to get and not only that if you want to design your staircase there is this software called cases soft i bet you with less than 15 minutes sorry less than 10 minutes you are done for 10 minutes is too much let's just say six minutes or five minutes is too is you are, you are done with your what with your staircase design and what generate your drawing we call it cases soft and if you want to detail your slab that is such a way that it should be so wow so there's software that perform that magic called stone bridge detailing template very very wonderful for example, it helps your work towards to be fast at the same time to meet up with what with your clients so thank you very much in case you have not also liked this video i want to say that you should like this video very very important like this video and subscribe to ekidel channel we also have an ekidel group whereby other engineers came together to do what to 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 be solving people's uh, problem when they have problem they post it and once they have been where they have ask the question online what happened on the ekidel group whatsapp group what they do people other engineers quickly respond to that question and the question is of that person was is being solved and in case we're also in ekidel group what do we, what do you do you post your question and before you know it other engineers also was we also respond to your question and help you solve it and in case the question that is being asked you have idea to eat what do you do we also respond because in ekidel we share our knowledge we don't hide our knowledge because we are trusting god to see how we can make this world a better place for every one of us when it comes to engineering so therefore thank you very much see you next time when we learn how to slant your slab sorry how to slant your what sorry your slab at the same time how to slant your column at the same time to create what we call ramps ramps you know ramp right so whereby you can see you notice that at times there are cars under the anyway there are buildings whereby the car climbs the staircase sorry i say staircase the car climbs move on to the first floor move on to the second floor move on to the third floor at many floors based on architectural drawing so how do you now deliver uh, design or model 
that uh, slab called ramp how do you now model your ramp such that car can move to the first floor from ground floor to the first floor all of this will be coming up so that's why Ekidel, i want to st stick to Ekidel, whereby you can be trained in all aspects thank you very much god bless you till i see you next time